Welcome back to this episode about array functions in PHP. These functions allow you to manipulate arrays. By now, you must know that array, remember, is a function. And this is the basic one that we've discussed before. What we can do now is to use a function called array merge. So let's create an array called personal info, set it equal to an array, and let's add some information. Let's say that my name is equal to Dari, and my age is equal to 24, and the city where I'm living right now is equal to Amsterdam. So this is our first array. And right below our array, let's create a new one. And let's name it more info and set it equal to an array. And let's add two more values. Let's say that the state where I'm living in is an edge. And my weight is equal to 85 kilos. So what we want to do now is to merge the two arrays that we created because they're both about me. And the way you do that is to write down the array name and set it equal to a new function called array underscore merge. And this function takes two parameters. So parameter one is the array that you want to add it to. So we want to add more info to personal info. So the first one is personal info, comma, and parameter two is the information that you want to add to parameter one. So we want to add more info. So let's save it. And if we refresh the browser, you can see that nothing's happening, of course, because we need to for each it. Let's create a for each. And let's say array personal info as key associated with the value. Let's echo out the key colon, value, and let's add a break. Let's save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that my first array, which is my name, age, and city, is printed out, but also more info, which is state and weight. And I only printed out one array. And if we far dump it, so let's test it out, or let's do a print underscore R. And let's add personal info, save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that name, age, city, state, and weight is added. So what we're doing right now is printing out the key and the value. But instead of printing all the keys and values, there is a function, let me add it, which only prints the keys. So let's print underscore r, and let's add array underscore keys which has one parameter, and that's the array, of course. So let's save it. Let's add a break. Refresh the browser, and you can see that only name, age, city, state, and weight is printed. And of course, if you can output only the keys, you can also output all the values with the array value. So let's go run one line below, and let's say, print only values. Create another print underscore r, and instead of array keys, let's underscore values. And the param is personal info. Let's add a break, save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that my name, my age, the city, the state, and my weight is printed out. The next function that I want to use is the array underscore push, which will insert one or more elements to the end of an array. But you need to remember that if your array has string keys, because we're using an associative array right now, your added elements will always have an index value, so we cannot use associative arrays. So let's create a new array called cars and set it equal to array, and let's add three values. Number one is Volkswagen, number two is Audi, and number three is Mercedes. Let's go one line below, and let's create a new value with the array underscore push, and inside the parentheses, we want to add two parameters. 
The first one is obviously the array, cars. And the second one is the value that we want to add. So in double quotes, I want to add Volvo with an O. So let's print underscore R cars again, save it, refresh the browser, and let me comment out all the print underscore Rs because it's getting pretty hectic right now. Yeah, let's save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that my zero index is Volkswagen, index one is Audi, two is Mercedes, and three is Volvo, because we array pushed it. Let me add a comment, add a value in array. And the last array function that I want to show you is the array search. And the array search function searches inside an array for the value that you want, and it returns it as a key. So let's say that we want to search inside our cars for Volvo, or let's say Volkswagen, since we already array pushed Volvo. The way you do that is simply by writing down echo and say that you want to use the function array underscore search, which has two params, and compared to the others, the array name is placed as a second argument and not the first, which might be pretty confusing. So we want to search for Volkswagen inside our cars array. Let's save it, refresh the browser, and let's add a comment and a break as well. Search inside of an array. And let's echo a break, save it, refresh it, and the index is zero, which is actually true. So let's change it to Mercedes, and you can see that the index is two, so zero, one, two. I've actually forgot the most important function, and that's the count function, which returns the number of elements inside an array. And this might be pretty confusing as well, because let's echo it out, or let's add a comment first, count the number of items in the array. So let's echo out, and this is the confusing part about it. It doesn't use a keyword of array, it's just count. And it takes one param, which is the array. So let's save it. Well, let's add a break first. And I need to update my sublime text as well. So let's echo out the break, save it, refresh it. And we have a total of four cars, which is true. We have Volkswagen, Audi, Mercedes, and Volkswagen. And Volvo, excuse me. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.